So at the moment right now, doing regular combo stuff. So another thing as well, um, the only reason why I didn't use Griffin, usually I would have done it if I don't have the fusion, just in case that dude had a Nash. So I could use Griffin with Meow Meow to make a Verte and then Enforcer. So, you know, you just have to depend on him having another hand trap. But because I did have the fusion, just in case I get actually Ash on my uh, fancies, I can still use the fusion. I have Roxy's. I can make the the Dodo one, and then I can still go out with my combo. Only reason why I didn't reveal anything. If I drew into the watering or right, then I'll just use it. If I didn't, what's the point of me actually having it on the field? I'm not gonna do anything with it. So yeah, just to let you know why it happened like that. Everything else. Completely fine. Same combo line. So this moment I'm like, okay, this PS. I wasn't really tripping. Just because he didn't have any monsters on field, so the Chimera. So yeah, because he was going to go battle phase, I was kind of forced to do this. And I wasn't really tripping because the fusion, uh, it could only reduce the attack of the monsters. And then, um, as well, it should be level 8 lower. And then, you know, my boy here is fucking level 1000 and stuff. So I wasn't even, I didn't really care about it as much. But I didn't need the, my fancies, so I did it at that moment. And then I'll see this do fucking triggers to negate. At this moment, before he activated this, I was kind of iffy. I wanted to actually pop it before he did that. But like i wasn't too sure yet i was i didn't know too much on the despias uh if i wanted to do it or not and then yeah he didn't have the the other branded SAZ fusions so i feel like i should have done it uh because from there he did send the other dude so he had he could have an extender but i wasn't tripping too much because at this moment nothing really hurts me so i was like i just rather let him play and see how it goes from here because if he had super poly he would have done this since the beginning And then all of you just regeki. And then my man goes off. And then I did not want him to uh to come out on me. And this is where I misplayed. Uh not here yet. So I have this. I have that. That was completely fine. I wanna have the fusion. I wanna have two monsters. So I make my stuff. I have the fuel spell, which is everything here is fine. So here's where I misplayed. Uh, so I sent um, Wow Wow to the graveyard to do the unicorn stuff. But I should have sent uh, Doodoo because I already used this effect. Why would I ha still have it on the field? If I had the, um, the Wow Wow on field, then I could use it next turn and have all my monsters again and recycle Butler and be able to do the Regeki again. But not just because I have this guy in the field, it, it really doesn't make sense. Like, it's just kind of a body. It doesn't do anything anymore. So I did the Unicorn, I did the Axis Code Talker, and now from here he makes the double, uh, well he doesn't make double, but he makes the burner, and he makes the guy that like uh, reduces all my attack. So it just really made no sense here. I, I just practically just have a body. So now what I'm just going to do, because I drew into the Draco, I'm just going to bounce this guy back because he, he gains an effect to add uh, special and I don't want him getting that. So I'm making for sure. I attack. It's 100, 400, 500. Um, and perm, everything. I return back weather washer because weather washer is going to be crucial right now. I'll see what a lot of people don't know about on this guy. So when he gets special summon again, he doesn't burn anymore. So it's only when he's fusion summoned that he's allowed to burn. So right now I'm not tripping about the burn. Uh, I have the ogre. The ogre is usually on the link two for a gloomy, or depending how the play goes off. Uh, right now I'm a little worried about the chimera, but not as much. So right now we're gonna see how it plays out. 
So he gets the special. He's, I wanted to get there, but I was like, let me just hold it. And then right there, I imprim. Literally, the main reason why I imprim there is because I didn't want him to get another brand of red or any fusions to go off from there. I wanted him to extend. And then remember, um, when he specials back from the grave, he gets banished afterwards. Oh yes, I ogred. And then from here, before you let him activate the Verti effect, uh, we do know that he could do the polymerization thing. So that's why I told him uh, to wait a second because I'm thinking on the summon. So this is where I did my play uh, to play around that. Because I did misplay, I could have just, you know, regeki this board and it would have just honestly been so easy to fucking win. But because I messed up, I had to play the long game. So I activate that. And this is where I also misplayed. So I didn't want to use fire because obviously I don't have as much resources and I'd rather use it in my turn to link off with it. But I forget that I could still use it to burn. So I could have burned them for 500. And then in the end for this game one, it really did make a big difference. So I kind of screwed up there and I forgot about that. But the only thing I did do is just obviously the make them game 500. And then so, yeah, I got back my uh, wow wow and my doodle. And then I did this. I did this because I knew he was going to summon the camera. It's what everyone always summons. So I made sure that this guy was immune to battle and by card effects, but it didn't really matter because it's already made fist two. And I already have my two monsters. And then if he didn't pop this guy with pranks, then I could make another doodle uh, with token and normal summon. Or if he did, then I still have my doodle do for sure. And then he misplaced here. I confirmed what he wanted to pop and he popped my doodle do. So because it's immune to card effect, then yeah, he said he's dumb. So here, I could have activated Faithful, get water, and then send water, then uh, uh, banish water to get it right, and then I would have won the game, but same thing again, I just didn't know too much about the deck, I thought he was going to go off more, so I was like, let me just bait out stuff, but there wasn't, really wasn't too much to bait out. Because I could have just attacked over it, and then I would have had the token, and then that would have been game right there. But then again, that's my other misplay. That's what I learned. So now what I just did, I just got the right, just so I could have a target with a uh, enforcer just in case it is needed. And I did forget about the enforcer as well, because I didn't uh, actually pop it. And then I think this is where he, like, midway here he tells me about it. And then I popped the uh, Alibur because I didn't want him to make Camera at all. Like, Camera is out of the question. So this is where he tells me. It doesn't make a big difference. So here I do the whole thing. So I didn't activate Butler just because he has opening. And then because opening is going to protect all his monsters. I'd rather him get over it. So I can summon back my doodle and he's forced to use the doodle and then assuming if he didn't if he this was the last thing he attacked I was going to summon access code talker and then from there just go off and just destroy everything but because it was the first thing that he attacked then it's the reason why I couldn't do access code talker well especially my access code talker but you'll see right now. So yeah, he attacked that. I was like, alright. And then it was laggy. Um, I know you can see right now that I technically didn't summon Activate Enforcer. But it was lagging. So that's why he agreed with it. He was cool about it. And then <laughs> I summoned Enforcer with a uh, with Butler. But dummy me. I thought it was any monster. But it's any non-fusion monster. Uh, it's just because the, the rooster is any card. So there's like literally no restrictions at all. So I thought Butler had the same thing as well, that there's no restriction. But uh, that's why I just summoned Duro again. So I forced him to make him actually attack Duro, because if he didn't attack Duro, then I just recycle my cards. So now I still have a... Uh, these are my... One second. These are my last two pranks, uh, aside from this one, from the deck. So 
So he tries a special. I didn't let him. From here, I popped this back up. I wanted to see what it was. So here, I wanted to bait out uh, the, the negator. And then I drew into the perfect card as well. So I didn't even care what he did. Because if he negates that, that was the perfect thing to negate. Because obviously he needs to negate that. And then burn 500. And I went here because he doesn't have anything else. Which I thought that. But motherfucker has a nib. So I was about to get my cards back so I could burn them. But he has a nib. But I really didn't care. So, the, so I just recycled all my links back. And then yeah, like he he figured it out, enforcer, GGs. And then I honestly just drew busted here. Like there was no way with this format that he was gonna beat me. Uh, probably next format it would have been a lot better. But I drew the droplet and the evenly match, plus full combo, plus extender, which is the enforcer, plus to stop me, stop with the combo grief. So I first didn't really match. I knew he was gonna fucking um, keep one of those guys. I didn't drop it yet, just in case. I didn't. I wanted to play around the ash. I didn't want to use the cowboy grief. So I chain block, and then after that, I drop it, and then I did full combo. Uh, the only reason I did it like that is because I didn't want to waste resources, and I'd rather keep it. And then if I did evenly match in the beginning and drop it, then he would have just kept the one that I didn't negate. So there was no point. So from here. I figured I called it. I knew he had like a hand trap. Hi, he. I noticed he always plays high impact hand traps. So I was like, let me just wait for it. And he did that. So that's why I just enforcer pop activate. And I had a perfect beam. I knew he had the patchwork, so I asked that. Uh, he was gonna special that. I didn't care about anything else. I was like, okay, do all that stuff. I didn't want to pop. I did not want to pop this guy because he got. I believe he should be able to add Alibur. Yeah, he could add Alibur. So I was like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not popping that. That's the last thing I'll pop. So I just waited for him to actually activate Unicorn. It didn't matter what he did. I would just stop the next thing that he did. And yeah, so he activated that. I just popped my Celestial. And from here, he can't really do anything. It, yeah, like there wasn't anything he could do. I had the call by Grave and had the Bell. And there was nothing else that he could just activate from the Grave, you know? And yeah, that's pretty it. And then from here, I was going to have my draw two. And then my extra dawn and a forester. And yeah, that would have been game. There's nothing he could have done. All I would have just done, I would have just sent, sent Gloomy back to the deck. I was not going to pop that. And yeah, that's my round one.